Hi, I'm gonna go early today because we have Olivia's talent show coming up in just an hour and a half. So, um, I already did half of my face. I look crazy right now. Yes, and I did use my favorite palette, Palette 5. I'm using Palette 5 again. If you hate it, just send me a private message and say, would you stop showing us Palette 5 constantly, incessantly? We get it, you love it, we know, okay? So I already have my face on. I need an eyebrow, some eyeshadow, and some lashes. So that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna try to replicate what I did on this side, yes? So I was kind of going for like the sunset look. So my brushes are a mess, they're all over the place. I will try not to be totally discombobulated here. I have to clean my brush real fast. This is what palette five looks like, my favorite crazy palette. Every single color on palette five is a shimmer. Very unusual for our palettes. We offer five of them and every palette except for this one offers both matte colors and shimmer colors. So on here I'm gonna start with this color here. It looks almost hot pink and this one is called Sarcastic. What I love about this color, Sarcastic, is that depending on which direction you're going on the palette, it can mimic a red if you're headed this way, it can mim mimic a pink if you're headed this way. So it's a bit of a chameleon and I love it for that. What's up, Libby? Um, am I allowed on Tuesday, next Tuesday, to go to bring a friend to gym night with Nico and me? What day, I'm sorry, Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. I'll have to look at the calendar, but f I'll give you a tentative that sounds okay to me. Okay? Unless there's something going on that evening, that sounds good to me, okay? I can confirm that when I'm done here. So can I just say to them, um... Tentatively, yes. Okay, and the next color I'm going to move into is right next to it, and it's called Vintage. I'm going to use that. I think so. I have to check my calendar. Tell them I have to check my calendar. Vintage is really pretty. It's kind of a rusty color. And I'm gonna kind of go toward the tear duct with this one and then up over Sarcastic. This is my favorite color in the palette and I just can't get enough of it. Orange and red are my favorite colors, so that would be why. I forgot my eye primer. Shocker. I only do that every single day. Okay. And now to finish up this look, I'm going to take a looser bristle brush and it looks a little bit longer. The bristles are a little bit looser. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to get this pretty goldish yellow color. This is called Vindictive. And I'm going to kind of go from the middle of my brow line, but not up by my brow, down to my tear duct and even underneath to give kind of that pop and that shimmer, okay? Are they matching? I think so. Now I am gonna go into palette one just for a quick second and I'm going to borrow I can use that same loose bristle brush if I can clean it real quick. These lighter colors here at the top, Elated is this kind of matte beige color, and then what's this one called? Sincere right next to it. I like to use those up near my brow line because when I'm using a high shimmer palette like Palette 5, it can get to be a little too much, and this helps to kind of mellow that out a teeny tiny bit. One thing I'm doing differently is I always start with brows. And so I'm doing the reverse of that right now just to see if that's going to work for me. Hi, baby. Oh, I like your shirt. You look so handsome. Mommy. Rafe is not feeling well. We went to the doctor today. He has a, some kind of virus. There's nothing they can do for that. Rest and lots of water and keep those fevers under control. I am looking for my brow liner. Where are you? I may have put it back. Let me look. Let me look. So I do have the new Brow Obsession palette. I've tried using it a couple of times and I like it. It does take some time and it will take some practice to get used to it. Okay, honey, I told you I'll look and I'm done, okay? You just hang in there. This is a quickie. 
I love this. It's called Precision Brow Liner, and they're not kidding. I can mimic little eyebrow hairs with short strokes like this for a more natural look. Oh, kind of messed up my arch here. Okay, a little eyeliner. So I'm gonna use my eyeliner brush. It's real little. It's got a very skinny little head here like this, okay? And I'm gonna go into palette three. You all right? This has all the purples I love, and it has a pink called Tickled, Tickled Pink. Also has black, and so I like to use that for my eyeliner. So I'll wet my brush. I usually keep a little rose water nearby. And I just wet my brush with that, and it smells lovely. I also use that rose water as a toner. I use it especially after I use the, excuse me, after I use the uh, Royalty Detoxifying Mask, I use that toner and I spritz it all over, and it has like this wonderful, magical cooling effect to it. Do you hear Rafe counting? He's turning two on Friday. Patty, are you on here? Happy birthday coming up. Hey, Emma. Yeah? Can you not do that right now? Can you save that for like five minutes from now? Thank you. You're welcome. The normal chaos going on behind me. I go just above the lash line on my lower lid. If you don't have palette three, but you like this color, this jet black, we have both a liquid eyeliner and um, a pencil eyeliner that both come in this color. And the color um, in the pencil and the eyeliner, the liquid liner is called Perfect. Eyelashes, eyelashes. Okay, so this is how this works, okay? This is what our mascara looks like. Comes in this nice little pouch. It's two products. One is the transplanting gel, and you use this to wet your lashes. The other one has the fiber wand, and it's covered in fibers that you then attach to those wet lash lashes. You let that set for just a second, and then you go back with the um, transplanting gel and you're able to um, seal in those fibers so that they don't kind of flake off and fall down on your face during the day as you're blinking and living and you know things like that. The eye palettes are $49 each and I think you can buy a collection of them. I'm not exactly sure how much the collection is but that would I think it's three palettes and it would be some sort of discount for buying three. Um, I can actually post that in the comments as soon as I'm done with the live for you if you want. Which one do you like, Patty? When I first saw this one I'm wearing, five, palette five, I was like, uh, never using that. What do you even do with a palette that looks like that? And now, it's my favorite. Browns and pinks. So our most popular palette is palette one. Palette one is all the browns and the golds. It's beautiful. I probably sell more palette ones than anything else. My second most popular palette Dad. is palette three. And palette three is this one. Palette three has the purples, the tickled, the tickled pink, and the black, the irate. So you can see, can you see the fibers on this wand here? This is kind of what put this company on the map. So once that's on there, I like for it to just set for just a minute so that those really adhere. And then I go back to that first wand, the transplanting gel. It's really just like a regular black mascara. And I cover those lashes again. And that seals in the fibers.
this stuff you can build on it it builds on itself so like right now I'm sealing in my fibers I'm done but if you wanted to go for more volume and more length then you could just kind of repeat go back grab the um, fiber wand and you could even do tipping just hitting the tips of those lashes again now that they're wet making them even longer and then go back and always make sure you seal it in with that transplanting gel at the end on the bottom you can also use the fibers I don't normally do that I just use the, the transplanting gel or that just looks like a regular black mascara you can see that and I just finish down there just like that so there you go so you kind of have like that sunset look on the eyelids from palette 5 and then I used the irate from palette 3 for my eyeliner you can also use a regular pencil eyeliner in black and then I used our 3d mascara lips I'm trying to hurry because we're going to Olivia's um, talent show super, super soon, so I have to help her get ready. So what should I do on my lips? I am really into the stains right now. In fact, I tried to wash off the stain I already had on. I was pretty unsuccessful because it turns out they really do stain. Um, so I had on a really hot pink one called Sucker Punched. I think I'm going to go over to kind of the red side now. This one is called Saucy. The stains are super, super liquidy. Do you see that? Um, Water-based, I love them. I have eight of the 13 we offer. The liquid lipstick is probably my second favorite for the lip stuff. Hi. Huh? Hat? Oh, it is a hat. Thank you. Thanks, Rafe. Poor sick kid. The liquid lipsticks um, are gorgeous. They're super, super bold colors. Um, Rafe is moving furniture. And I started out only using the liquid lipsticks. The reason I like the stains better now is because the liquid lipstick does tend to transfer. I mean, you have to let it dry. You put it on. It kind of has like this, uh, I'll show you one. kind of has like this uh, lip gloss applicator in it. So like here's our red sizzling and our liquid lipstick, okay? You open it like this. It comes out kind of like an applicator like this, right? And you apply it and you have to let it completely dry for about a full minute. Um, you will still get just a little bit of transfer from it as you're drinking coffee or, you know, you're kissing your husband or whatever. Um... But with the stain, you get none of that. And so I think people really prefer the stains. Also with the stains, they dry, when they do dry, it's almost dry now. It has a, a matte finish to it. And so if you're missing that shine with the stain, since it adheres so well to the lips for a long period of time, you're able to just, throughout the day, periodically apply a gloss over the top of it if you want more of a shine. So you have that option with it. Uh, plus with the liquid lipstick is that you can mix it with a concealer just like a light or even a little foundation. And then when you apply it, it's a completely different color. It totally lightens it up. You can turn like some of our deep blues into like a pastel. Um, that red turns into kind of a light pink. Very pretty option there. So that's it. Um, I was gonna throw a gloss on top of this to show you, but I just am disorganized right now. I have to go get Libby ready for her talent show. So I'm going to get out of here. I did wanna show you, no transfer. See that? Nothing. So that's what's nice about the stains. So thanks everybody for joining and um, I hope that you guys have a great evening. I'm going to go support Libby at her talent show and I will check back in here tomorrow. I will try to be at my regular time at 7.15. I feel like I've been all over the place lately, um, but I appreciate you guys checking in whenever you can. So I love you and I will be in touch with you later on. Have a great birthday, Patty, if I don't have a chance to talk to you again. Bye guys.